welcome back to Tamada's table. Today I'll show you how to make carrots with walnut stapulos pkali. Pkali is Georgian signature appetizers made from various vegetables mixed with walnuts, garlic and spices and fresh herbs and some vinegar. So let's begin cooking. The ingredients for stapulos pkali, carrots with walnuts, are of course carrots and walnuts. We will be using some Georgian spices, we will be using garlic, vinegar, onions, and the main herb is parsley. So I'll start by grating the carrots in my food processor, but you can use hand grater if it's more convenient for you. Let's start, my friends. So here my carrots, I already coarsely cut them in smaller pieces, and I will just grate them. for about 12-13 minutes until the carrots are tender. You don't want to overcook the carrots, then poly won't have any texture. So mix it well with the onions, cover and cook. I'm frequently stirring the carrots, not to burn them. My carrots are done. See how they look and now I will transfer them to the bowl and I will cool them to room temperature. And my next step when the carrots are cool will be to prepare the walnut paste. Time to make walnut sauce and I will put walnuts in the food processor. I will add 4-5 garlic cloves, medium, and half teaspoon of the coarse salt. It will help grind it. And first I will crush the walnuts. I will add a little bit of water, like just splash of water, because these walnuts are not turning into the paste I want them to turn. And this is the trick when you're making Georgian pkali or any kind of Georgian dishes with walnuts. Always know that splash of water helps to grind the walnuts. Here we are. Oh, look at this white paste. That's, that's what I wanted. Now it's time to add spices. So marigold, coriander and blue fenugreek. Go to the food processor and I will also add vinegar. This is the consistency of the paste I wanted. It's done and it's time to combine with the carrots. So my friends, my carrots are ready. They cooled to the room temperature. And all I have to do is just to combine the walnut paste and the carrots. Here it is. Use the wooden spoon, it's more convenient to combine it or use your hands. And that's what I will do now. Some 
some very finely chopped parsley. As I told you, I'm using only leaves in this khali. And again, mix. And once it's mixed well, then you can adjust, you know, like you can add more salt. And of course, this is great. This is freshly ground pepper and I'm not using any chili or cayenne in this pali because it's very tender, you know. And but it, the black pepper, if, especially if you have freshly ground black pepper, will be an excellent for this pali. Oof, 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 oof. It smells so good. So when you are kneading the pali, every curry it's really very good because it melts all the tastes and the walnuts can bind very well with the carrots and spices and garlic and of course parsley so it kind of becomes one whole instead of separate ingredients so i, I will taste test this for salt and pepper and the vinegar just try a little bit of Kali. Mm. It definitely lacks some salt. I can add a little bit more. To my taste, it's fine with the vinegar, but you can also add some fresh ground pepper if you wish. And of course, you know, tastes differ. So my taste not necessarily your taste. So just adjust to your taste. Mix again and keep covered in the refrigerator. This curry will be okay in the refrigerator for two, three days. So today, my friends, we made stapilos curry, carrots with walnuts. It's a delicious appetizer. Look at the amber color, so it will look beautiful on your table. And Georgians usually serve a couple of curries, at least like spinach, and it can be uh, cabbage or it can be beets together. So they create all these beautiful colors. Now you can serve it in a bowl like it is. It's kind of a little bit rustic style. Or you can do individual pieces and you know what I'm using and in cooking you know you should have fun. These are my cookie cutters so I'll be using them to make beautiful shapes. So you take carrots, you add them here. Or you can make balls. You, uh, Georgians usually make balls just like with your hands and then serve. You can Garnish them with some pomegranate seeds or more parsley if you want. So here it is. And all I have to do is just to put it here. Isn't it great? Now I can put some pomegranate seeds on the top like that. And my carrot pkali is ready to serve. So we made our carrots with walnut stuff, it was curly. now it's time to serve it and you can see this is the rustic style in a bowl, that's how I would serve it for myself with chardy corn cakes and this is like more if you have guests and here we've been a little bit more creative, right? So it's beautiful and it's time to enjoy it. If you like the recipe, please share with your family and friends, come back for my weekly postings, bon appetit! Gabriela Mir.